Hi, welcome back. Uh, thanks so much for clicking. I'm really, really excited because I just finished Batman Dark Victory and I kind of wait to talk about it. Honestly, it was it was good. It was another good one. Um, but before I tell you about this book, let me just quickly tell you about what I'm even doing reading these Batman books. So let me bring this list over. As you can see, um, here are 13 books that are supposed to be a beginner friendly chronological order uh, reading list for people that want to get into Batman comics. Now, they are all within the same continuity, that being the post-crisis continuity. And so far, I have read Year One, The Man Who Laughs, and Long Halloween. And, well, we can add Dark Victory to the list now. Uh, so, a little bit about Dark Victory. It was, it's the same team that made um, The Long Halloween, and it's a direct sequel. So, if you haven't read The Long Halloween, or you don't know the story and you actually care, you might I might give some brief spoilers about it on the ending because this picks up right where that finished. Um, it's the same team. That's the writer Jeff Loeb and the artist Tim Sale, and it's absolutely amazing. Just let's get that out of the way. Amazing. Really, 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 really loved it. Like I just said, we pick up right where the Long Halloween ended um, with the imprisonment of Two Face and all the other criminals after all of that happened and some of the characters that were in long halloween who have, may have been disfigured <laughs> by the way it ended they're back and they're pissed off and they're angry and basically the story deals about a it's another year and a brand new silver killer this time it's called the hangman killer because he keeps hanging cops and then putting a little hangman um thing on it and man, it was good. I'm, okay, okay, okay. Everyone online and the videos that I've seen loves, loves, loves The Long Halloween. I loved The Long Halloween. But I really loved Dark Victory, like a lot, to a point where I'm like, I might have liked it more, which I think might be kind of controversial, but I really loved this. Now, it's not really a spoiler for this book because it is in the cover, but we do finally, finally meet Robin, the first Robin, that being Dick Grayson. And it really hit me, like the his introduction is very tragic and it obviously mirrors a lot of Bruce Wayne's own personal tragedy, which is kind of why he takes in Dick Grayson to begin with. And I like, I just, I really like that, but I'm not gonna talk too much about it because that is in the second half of the story. The main mystery being the hangman killings and all these, you know, these cops just keep popping up. I really liked because A, generally had no idea who it was throughout. Um, it was brand new. You'd think that with The Long Halloween, you're already kind of like, could guess, but no, I was, I didn't know who it was. B, it's still doing the same thing that The Long Halloween did where we skip ahead in time and we watch like a whole year. Um, C, the villains from the long halloween are here as well so while the main villain would be the mystery of who the hangman killer is and you and it is a whodunit kind of cop thing uh there's also uh you know um i was gonna say there's also a lot of the godfather in this specifically if you've read this you know what scene i'm talking about there's an entire scene that's literally the godfather and it was really cool um but yeah so a lot of the super villains from the long halloween are back in their sort of minor roles for each thing so um, certain days, certain holidays that killings are happening and will be, will have like the Joker involved or Poison Ivy or the Riddler and they, and they do have minor roles, but it's, it's cool. And you know how I, if you, by the way, if you haven't seen my Long Halloween review, definitely like watch it, please. <laughs> but also in that review, I mentioned how I liked that we were seeing the transition from organized crime into sort of super villain crime. And this is the finality of it. To the point where, quite literally, um, they like make reference to it, and by the end, uh, and it's not really a spoiler, I don't think, supervillains rule Gotham, and there's no more mafia. And I think that's so cool. It's like we started with year one, which is all the mob, and then sort of like transition into this crazy, insane, terrifying Gotham where these supervillains are sort of ruling the streets, and I really, really dug it. It was so cool. So obviously you have to read The Long Halloween before you read Dark Victory, but also I really, really, really encourage you to read Year One. I you can forget about The Man Who Laughs, like books. The more I think about it, the less I like it. <laughs> but Year One is excellent, and a lot of the characters from Year One come back here. 
um, which I thought was really cool. Now, you don't need to read it because the book does a really good job of sort of catching you up on anything you've missed, but it's cool seeing those characters come back. Um, and see sort of what they've been up to, what they're doing since, and how they fare against the Hangman Killer. The art is just as good as always. Um, Tim Sale, I really like his style. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's literally the exact same style as the one in The Long Halloween. And so far, out of the books that we've read, it's my favorite. Um, so I'm very excited because the next book that we'll be doing will also be done by Tim Sale and written by Jeff Loeb, so that'll be cool. Yeah, I don't know really what else to say other than if you're interested about Batman, like I am, like I was, I am so happy I decided to do this reading list. And in this order, like it's paying off big time. Year One, Long Halloween and Dark Victory is such an amazing trilogy of books that really sort of flow. I love it. I'm really happy with this. Like I'm, I, not to toot my own horn, but like my decision to get into Batman comic books was so good. <laughs> like it's really fun. They're really good story. Also, I was talking. Oh my god, I was literally talking to my mom about it. I was like, I think what I'm loving about Batman is that it's not really superhero at all. Like it is literally just a cop mis murder mystery, and it's violent. Again, another book that's not for kids. It's generally really violent and upsetting. Some faces get cut up, glass, and other things. <laughs> just to conclude, like I absolutely love the style. I love the writing really liked the story. I was very surprised by the ending. Now, the ending doesn't have that punch that The Long Halloween did. I didn't have this like crazy, oh, who was that kind of moment, but it does have plenty of turns um, that I did not see coming. Um, those references to films like The Godfather are really sweet. And um, meeting Dick Grayson was great and seeing him become Robin was really great. His story really resonated with me. I really, really, really liked it. And I like the dynamic of Bruce Wayne having to learn how to take care of a kid. I haven't really watched any Robin stuff because he's not really in any of the movies except for like the really bad ones. And he's not really in the games. Like he's in Arkham Knight for like a little bit, but he's already Nightwing in Arkham Knight. And I really got to experience the story of Dick Grayson and how he became Robin and him as Robin and I really got to see that so it's really cool to read it I'm pleasantly surprised it also didn't they like acknowledge like he's like really young because I thought I was wondering how they're gonna get over the fact that it's like a little 12 year old hanging out with this dude um but it, it just it feels organic it feels awkward I understand Batman's motivation for doing it I get Robin's motivation for wanting to help Batman it it works it worked now let's bring the list back We've done Dark Victory. Now, the next book that we're going to be doing is the last that I have in my list that's written by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, and that's The Haunted Night. Now, my understanding, and I will confirm when I read it, <laughs> is that that book isn't so much a continuation of this story, and it's, it's more a, like, in-between collection of short Halloween stories, which I'm very excited about. Um, but it'll be nice to have a breather, because so far they've all been, like, going, you know, like, year one, long Halloween, Dark Victory. So it'll be cool to sort of like take a step back, see some other Batman stories, because then I believe, and again, I can't tell you for sure, that year one, Robin year one, will be continuing the story from here. But alas, I digress. I highly recommend Dark Victory. I highly recommend these Batman books, on it, specifically the trilogy of year one, Hall Halloween, Dark Victory. Just fucking read it. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm saying shit. I'm repeating myself. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>